I have an email from listener Benjero, um, who says, when I was about 13 years old, I got diagnosed with Marfan syndrome. And I remember being told it was a connective tissue disorder and learning how one defective protein can affect so many seemingly different things in your body. Connective tissue is found in muscles, ligaments, bones, skin, eyes, organs, and what surprised me the most, blood. Living with this disease has given me a new perspective on all the intricacies that occur within the body and just how precise everything is. It just makes me think too, like in the episode we did on hemophilia a little while back, one change in one nucleotide and one gene and then someone has hemophilia. Yeah. And so for Marfan syndrome, that protein is called fibrillin 1. And so this Mm -hmm. helps make the fibers that are in our connective tissue. And so this leads to issues in the connective tissue that help out our bones and muscles and tissues and everything else. It can lead to bones actually growing longer than usual, which I thought was really Mm -hmm. interesting. I wouldn't have like expected that, but that is like one of the the potential effects of it. But it can also be really tough to diagnose because the symptoms are pretty varied. So the diagnosis is usually based on a combination of having the symptoms, but also having that family history. There are a few tests that can be used to confirm Marfan syndrome, um, like an echocardiogram, which will look at the motion of the heart. And there isn't a cure yet for Marfan syndrome, but there are treatments to deal with some of the issues that can come up. 